We're back here with some more Mega Man 7. We got a fresh set of bosses to take on. I'm gonna start with a uh, Spring Man. Ooh. Boy. This should be another interesting uh, boss design. Hopefully they're able to come up with a creative moveset for this guy. I like the purple and pink. Oh, okay. So so it's gonna be one of these type of stages. I think we had a very similar stage to this in um, the Mega Man X franchise. I think it was, was it Bounce Man? It was something like that. Uh, where we had... Uh, yeah, it was pretty much the same thing where, uh, where it was like if you if you hold the jump button as you're, uh, as you're going on on the little bouncy thing, then you would just jump higher. Otherwise, you just bounce like some regular amount. But. So I feel like this this kind of a stage has uh, the ability to become tiresome pretty quickly. Oh, darn it. Darn it. Ah, okay. Taking too many hits out here. Oh, there we go. Heal. Perfect. Let's see if we can make this jump. Oh no, we can't make the jump. Great. Okay, we just squandered a freaking free heal. Oh god. Oh god. Come on. There we go. Right, hopefully these uh these lives make up for the heals that we haven't been picking up. These slinky enemies are pretty cool. We gotta be careful of the um the springs up top. Because if we have a pitfall, those will just bounce us down into oblivion. It's cool to cool to rapid fire when you're bouncing up and down though, you just get like a kind of a spread shot. Which is interesting. Okay. See this is yeah, that's what I mean. This this will bounce us right down into that like that cavity. Ooh. Okay. Gotta be careful. Um it's like okay, what do I do here? Because if I jump, can I just jet over? Is that cheap? Off there. I think yeah, the, I think the energy bar only goes down when I'm on it. When I'm actually on the rush jet. But yeah, I guess like best to be uh, conservative if we're unsure. Okay, speaking of being conservative. But okay. Forget it. It's a weird uh weird jump for them to not give us for free. Oh, these are bouncy things too. Okay. What are those guys? Oh, whoa. Interesting. Those guys punch in that direction. That's pretty cool. I like that enemy design. Between the oh god, ow. Between the slinkies and these cats, this is pretty interesting. All right. There might have been some stuff over to the left. I don't know. Whatever. Come on, man. Come on. Turn it. I jumped it. I jumped it. Ah. There we go. Nice. And we got a heal. Sweet. Rolling into your boy Dr. W's house. Like that. Alright, here we go. Boing, boing, boing. Alright. What you got for me? I like his uh, default standing pose. Oh god, oh god. Oh, what the? Oh, he does twice. Alright. Oh, we can destroy these guys. Okay. Oh, oh, wow. Alright. That thing, like, lingers for a quick second. So, I think the best thing would be to just, uh, duck under it or dive under it. Actually, we're gonna start off with the jump to the middle. So we'll slide under, and we'll slide down. Okay, there we go. Okay. 
Okay, not too bad. Not too bad start. Okay, we're doing okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. That wasn't that bad. Funny the difference <laughs> the first time he gets the boss and the second time he makes. Like, once some of those attacks, um, like, like, like him, him doing the second jab out from the sky, that was just something that I didn't, I didn't see coming the first time. Okay, we got the wild coil. He launches one coil forward and one coil backward, right? Okay, so it's kind of like his, his jump, his jumpy attack, right? I think. Yes, but remember to charge the coils to make them jump higher. Alright. Weird. You get Wild Coil. Okay. Well, we will pick it up here next time with even more Mega Man 7.